Hello, my name's Anthony. Uh, I run Irish Whiskey Auctions. Don't know if anybody knows me uh, without the thing. Uh, how are you? Fine. How are you? How's things? Fine. You're used to me with me. Being I am, yes, oh, yeah, yes, exactly. yes, yes. Um, so, just as a surprise to people, I am keeping it clean shaven for the minute. I haven't, uh, no. I haven't decided whether I'm going back to Sasquatch or whether I'm just going to keep the Your baby, face. baby face. Partly knocks years off me, everybody's telling me. Only somebody would tell me bloody body that it's knocked years off me and feeling <laughs> better. We were in Belfast over the weekend. I don't know how to all the people that we met down there. We were there Friday and Saturday for the th- three uh, sessions for Belfast Whiskey Social. Uh, got talking to loads of people. Drank plenty of whiskey. You, you drank the piece out, you did. I, you really well, did. yeah. I like whiskey. What can I say? Yeah. Um, and there was stuff there I had to sample. I mean, it was all about sampling. And you insulted a load of people. I, I never insult anybody, Katie. We might have called a few people names, but that's normal. That's how it's like. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're back auction week. We're under pressure this week again. Every week we seem to be under pressure. I have to go back to my statement. Our biggest ever auction. This is looking but mahoosh. Genuinely is under pressure. A genuinely is the biggest ever. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be. We're going to have a lot of numbers. Uh, there's over a thousand on the front end of the website at the minute. I think there's probably another four or five hundred to go as well, so we're, we were under a bit of pressure. Part of that big set, or part of that big auction, is going to be sets. And so the mad thing about set is it only counts as one lot, Yes. but it's multiple bottles. So that's one of the things that people go, oh, well, there's a, a thousand lots in the auction. Yeah, but that's a thousand lots. Some lots can have multiple items. And one of the challenges we've always faced is storage, so we have to fill the rack so if JD can just pan it around there for a second you can see that the racks are literally full sealing the floor at the minute uh, we haven't quite got up yet to start uh, organising the, the, the room in numerical as we always do before every auction but we will get there that's why we've got empty spaces on one rack exactly exactly it's just so we've lead time so the sets mm. some of the big ticket stuff is that we haven't had before is so like we've got a a Dar Gaelic. So Middleton brought out this unique release. Uh, the barrels were finished in Irish oak barrels and they were from various forests around the country. The first year was the Middleton Dar Gaelic Grinsel's Wood. Nine bottles in total. They are the, the challenge when they were released is that some of them were released in South Africa, some were released in America, the mm-hmm. bottles themselves. So it was real hard work putting it together and not many people have the a first complete, set yeah. a complete first set number one tree number one in particular was particularly tricky which shows how good of an auction we're going to have this month is that we've one got a full set of all nine bottles from tree one to nine but as an individual we've also got tree one so that is down the bottom tree one in the corner that is going to go well that is going to go well there are, one of them sold in the UK for in excess of three thousand pound on its own. Happy so Christmas. the sets are going to be sought after as well. The next set to come out the, the, the following year was the Bluebell Forest set. And that is from uh, Kilkenny. Um, Kilkenny? Yes, Kilkenny. Kilkenny, yes, Kilkenny. Um, I think there was one in Knock... One in... Oh, there's one in Wicklow. I think the Knock Rad is Wicklow and the other two were Kilkenny. Um Six bottle set. Again, number five was hard to get on that as well. But the sets have been doing really well. And I think because the new release came out, the full knock rat set came out, it sort of spurred a lot of people to look backwards and see yeah. what other sets they could have. Presentation wise, I actually amant. 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 There's no such word, babe. Amant. It is amant. Hey. I am not. There you go. As impressed with the the first set as I am with the second ones because of they've got the boxes and all that. Yeah. But if they were all out on a stand on a shelf on their wood plinths. Yeah, out of the wooden out lit of the up, cardboard boxes. Out of the yeah. cardboard boxes with the cardboard boxes behind them, it would be impressive. Yeah, no. I mean the pretty. full tree sets. I have I have one of each myself in ourselves. Because what's mine is yours, and, and what's, what's yours is my own. yeah, exactly. Um. Uh, we have a set of each of them ourselves and uh, they do take up a fair bit of real estate. They do, actually. But when they're lit up and the, their presentation, they're gorgeous. The latest one was the Knock Wrath set. Uh, 
seven individual trees. Tree, tree, trees. So that would have been dark, excellent. Um, tree seven was the hard one to get. Uh, they've done really, really well on their own. I believe on the grapevine, rumour has it, that the first release for the new forest set is coming out before Christmas. I believe. I have heard. Rumoured, supposedly. Could be life. Could be absolute horse manure. Yes. But so don't take his word for it. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. I keep telling people I'm an idiot. Uh, but it would be a start of a new set. And again, I wonder if they're going to do the same. I mean, again, I think one of the things that sort of threw people off was the seven trees of Knockrath, uh that they all come out in all in one and it was a two grand upfront payment. Yeah. Whereas not many people did go and buy the full sets. They bought individual bottles and then hoped to try and put it together or were trying to plan and to, to sell them on or swap them for something else. Whereas the other ones involved a lot more work. And I mean, the first one originally, the first nine bottles. I mean, I know many, many people who have probably um, two to nine. They haven't got number one. Yeah, so that's a lot what's of coming. hunting for the first Yeah, there really was. Really, really a lot of work involved. So right. that's it. Um, we had a quick video today just talking about these in particular. There's loads of Middleton. I think I looked at the collection uh, at the filter so far. And I think there's 140 bottles of Middleton on its own or yeah, within yeah. the Middleton category at the minute um, loads and loads of bottles we'll get round to more of them tomorrow do you like my jumper? I love your jumper do you like my t-shirt? I do like your t-shirt Boan uh, the team up there in Boan uh, you bought that yourself I did unlike uh, you I'm not a scab no 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 I did obviously now they should be paying to put stuff on your body baby I've been paying for years <laughs> no no, you haven't. Okay. Uh, but they should be privileged to have a T-shirt adorn this Adonis. That is true, sweetie. That Absolutely. is true. But just on the whole Copeland thing, up in Belfast, I got to taste something really cool. Dirt gin. Oh, the navy gin with the whiskey barrels. Yeah. Th- somebody was telling me navy as well that the, 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 chocolate, the chocolate... I didn't get to taste I didn't that. get to taste that myself. Um, Tim, uh, lads... Scab. And a t-shirt. <coughs> t-shirt. Scab. Right. Talk to you tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with God knows what. Yeah. Bye. Bye.